Hi guys, this is Asaurus1. Um, this is the second of my um, Surface tutorials for Game Maker, and probably the first one in which you'll learn anything useful. Um, originally, I was gonna like make this whole new game and then use that like to teach you guys about surfaces, but that didn't work so well. Um, and then the other day, I was working on my own game and. I found that, hey, I need to use a surface here. And I thought to myself, and I said, well, you know, I could use my own game as an example. So here it is. Um, this is my own game, Nucleus, um, which there's a video for on YouTube if you guys want to look at it. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make a motion blur with a surface in Game Maker. Um, so to get started, I want to just show you the effect I'm kind of going for. Um, on the menu, I've got this um, cool little effect in the background here. You can see um, with these little dots that are moving on these like grid patterns. Um, but they don't look very cool now. Um, and so I'm thinking maybe I want to add a like a blur, a motion blur to them so that they kind of leave a trail behind them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to do that from start to finish. You're going to learn how to create a surface, destroy a surface, draw on a surface, clear a surface, all the useful stuff like that. And you're also going to learn how to make an emotion blur surface. Um, so to get started, I'm going to shut this down, and I'm going to go into the room, and I'm going to turn off this background that's in front of them, so you can see it easier, but y you'll see what I mean later. Um, then I'm going to go to my menu control object, and I'm going to go to the create event, and you can see, oh, right here I already started it. So we have, um, I'm going to start creating my surface. So let me just make it so that there's nothing to get in your way. So the first thing I want to tell Game Maker is to, to create the surface. So I'm going to say blur surface equals surface create. And then I'm going to give it a width and a height. So room width, because I want it to be as big as the room, and room height, because I want it to be as tall as the room. Um, and what I'm basically doing is this is a variable, blur surface is a variable, and what surface create does is it creates a surface, and then it gives that surface an ID, an identification number, and when you call surface create, when you use surface create, it passes that ID into the variable. So now blur surface can be used as a variable to access the surface again. Now the second thing I want to make sure I do is to clear the surface because when you create a surface it's got all this junk on it because it's fr straight from video memory so I want to clear the surface so that we don't have that junk in our game so the first thing I have to do is I have to tell Game Maker that I want to start drawing on the surface so the way you do that is you use the function surface set target and then the name the idea of your surface so blur surface Okay, um, and then I have to tell Game Maker I want to clear it. So I'm going to use the draw function, draw, clear, alpha, and then C color white, and an alpha of zero. Okay, and then I want to, but but now I'm done drawing on this surface. And if I just let it go here, Game Maker would draw all the draw events on the surface, and it would draw everything on the surface. So I need to tell Game Maker to stop drawing on the surface, and to do that we use surface reset target. And you'll notice that this function doesn't have a um, a um, you don't have to tell it which surface to stop drawing on. It just sets it back to the regular draw mode. Um, all right, so. Now we've got our surface functions all set in the create event. 
and now I can move on to showing you how to destroy the surface. Um, so I want to destroy the surface when we're done using it, which is when the rooms, when, when we leave the room that the menu's in. So in my room, um, in my room end event, I'm going to put surface destroy, or no, actually it's surface free, okay, because you're freeing the surface from memory, and then um, the, the ID of the surface, so blur surface, um, and that's really all you need to do. Um, and then, um, so the last thing is, um, drawing on the surface. You know, I've got this surface here, but nothing's being drawn on it. And so, you can't really make a motion blur if you're not drawing anything on the surface. So, the way you make the motion blur is basically, um, you're going to do this in the end step event. Um, and basically what the code we're doing does, we're, we're going to be writing does, is it every every step that the game's running, it draws the my dots on my my menu effect dots on the surface, and then it draws a um a semi-transparent white rectangle over those dots, um, so that they kind of fade blend with the background of the surface and the background of the game, um, so it looks like they're fading out, and because surfaces aren't cleared every step, if you remember from the first tutorial, the one, the things that I've, the dots that I drew last step, or the dots where they were in their previous positions, will still be on the surface, but they'll be slightly lighter because I've covered them with that rectangle. So it'll look like it's leaving a trail. Um, so what I'm going to do, the first thing you got to do is do um, surface set target, because we want to tell Game Maker that we're drawing on the surface. And now, um, I'm going to just say, with each of my effect objects, my little dots, object, menu, background, spark, right there, um, and then I'm going to tell it just to draw itself. So draw, sprite, sprite index, image, index, and x, y, because I wanted to draw it right where it is. Um, and then actually I missed, missed one thing. Before that, I'm going to have to draw that rectangle. So I want to do draw set alpha to say 0.8, or 0.2 actually, because um, that'll give us a nice long trail. And then I want to set the color to white. Draw, set, color to white. Um, and then draw the rectangle. At, from 0, 0 to room width, room height, so that it covers the whole room. Um, and then all we do is surface after, after the the width, surface, reset, target, and we're done, um, except I forgot to add the ID up here, you see it's giving me this red uh, box, so you want to tell it to set the target to blur surface. Um, Alright, and now if we were to run the game, you still wouldn't see anything because we aren't drawing the surface. But before we draw the surface, um, I want to turn this, this, I want to make these sparks invisible because they're being drawn by this other object onto the surface, so we don't want them to see them in the game because we'll see them on the surface. Um, hope you understood that. Um, okay, so to draw the surface, I want to draw it right here in my code. Um, you just need to use the function, the, the command draw surface. And then the ID of the surface, blur surface. 
and then where you want to draw it. So I'm going to draw it at 0, 0. And it's probably not going to work right now because I've probably done something wrong, but maybe I haven't. So let's play the game and see if it works. All right, so you see I made a error. Um, I do that often. I bet everybody else does too. I need to tell it that we're not drawing an outline um, for the rectangle. Did you see it has five arguments and I only put four, so I need to tell it false. This is a solid rectangle, not just an outline. Um, and should I follow script? No. Okay. And then save and run the game. All right. All right. So you see how they got this like trail behind them? That's pretty cool. Um, I think so. And you can increase the length of the trail simply by decreasing the um alpha that you draw the rectangle. So let's say 0 0.05 instead of 0 0.2 and run the game again and you'll see a lot longer trail on the object. You see that? They're very long. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Now some of you may be wondering, well this is on a solid white background. What if I want to like put a motion blur on my game that has like this fancy color background and everything? The answer is, that's a lot more difficult to do. Probably your best bet would just be to draw a black rectangle, semi-transparent, um, over the, over the surface. Um, although sometimes that can, like, that can darken your game. Um, and it might not work if you don't do it right. Um, the other option is, um, you can draw your game onto the surface and I will show I, I might show you how to do this in another tutorial I don't have time in this one you draw your game onto a surface without the object that you want to blur and then you use that surface and draw it semi-transparently over your motion blur surface instead of using a rectangle that can get tricky and it can also slow your game down um, so, maybe if you give me a little bit to think about the best way to do this, I might come back with another tutorial for those of you who want to use a, you know, your game background instead of just a solid color background. But for now, I think you get the basic idea. Uh, if you have any questions, leave your, uh, leave them in the comment box below and I'll try to get, get to them. Um, I hope you learned something. And um, thank you for being here as I um, added another thing to my new game. So until next time, I will see you.